Hey, Steve Messinio from YourBizSuccessCoach.com and today I want to talk about developing your mission and your vision statement for your business as you develop your one-page business plan. Uh, once again, yesterday I talked about the one-page business plan by Jim Moran, a book that, uh, again, you can see here on the screen. Highly recommend you take a look. Just click the link. You'll be taken to Amazon uh, and a separate page of your browser. You can buy the book there. So the first thing you can do with one-page business plan is develop your vision statement and allow you to essentially define what your business is going to do over the next year or several years depending on how you want to approach it. I like to write each plan year over year and have a plan in place for the year that I'm currently working in in my business. So vision statement basically defines uh, what you're going to do from a growth standpoint for your company, uh, what your company is, uh, who are the customers that you serve, and what type of products and services you offer to those customers, and what your uh, goals are for the, the year coming up. Uh, whether it be revenue wise or customer service wise or what have you, that is your 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 vision statement. Okay, uh, so it's a little bit broader statement, but it's something that you when you develop the statement, it's something that you want to resonate, especially if you're a small business owner and you have employees and you want your te the people um, you know on your team on your, in your business, your employees to buy into your statement. You want to uh, have it resonate with them and also resonate with your customers. It should be something that. Uh, if you were to present it to one of your customers, they go, oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I wanna, I'm want i glad I'm coming to get uh, service here for whatever reason. I'm buying my products from you because they appreciate your vision statement. Okay, uh, So you want to make sure it's customer service oriented in that respect as well. So again, uh, this is the, the strategies for building this vision statement are, are found in the book, so I highly recommend you get it. After you've developed your vision statement, you're going to create your mission statement. And your mission statement is really why you exist. Okay. Uh, and why you exist for your customers. Uh, for example, Nike's mission statement is just do it. Um, uh, my mission statement for uh, my coaching business is proven solutions to grow your business. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts, America runs on duck. It's, it's basically uh, uh, essentially your slogan, okay, but in some way it should resonate for your customers as well, okay. And so it's a, it's a statement that's generally eight words or less. Um, and it should be catchy, okay? Something that's gonna uh, people are going to remember. For example, in my physical therapy business, uh, we used to, our one of our vision statements used to be, uh, "Your road to recovery starts here," and it was something that people mem remembered in the community uh, when it came time to getting uh, physical therapy services. So try to come up with something that uh, is memorable, uh, that is uh, again short and sweet, and that you're uh, is customer oriented. In other words, it's it, the, the slogan. Uh, relays what you're going to do for your customers. So uh, those are the first two steps in developing your one-page business plan. Uh, once again, you can get that book on Amazon. Here's, the, here's that link to the uh, uh, page on Amazon where you can get it. Uh, also, if you would like to uh, talk with me and help, ha have me help you build your one-page plan, that's something that I do with all of my clients. I'd be happy to talk to, you, talk to you about doing so. You can click on the link right now on the screen. Um, just get yourself scheduled for a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. We can talk about what type of business you're building, what type of business you're looking into, and the steps that you need to put in place to develop a great plan for it. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.